the Pilates Show Mondays outside the Pilates studio, where we bring our Pilates brain and body into the real world. I'm Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about bath towel stretches once more, and we're going to explore opening and stretching the feet. So this exercise is used a lot with the TheraBand, and I enjoy using the stiffness of the towel much better for working and opening the, the feet and the ankle joint. Again, I want the foot and the ankle to be more of your TheraBand, your human TheraBand, that can reach and expand into the stiff towel. So what we're going to be looking at, because it's going to be hard once I get my foot in the towel for you to actually see what my foot's doing, but um, when we dorsiflex, no matter in what position, when we dorsiflex, the talus rotates and in a sense sinks back to our heel. You can think of like the bird in the cuckoo clock going back into the clock. And when that happens, when we dorsiflex, the heel, the calcaneus, does a little bit of eversion. So there's a little bit of a swing, or there should be a little bit of a swing of the heel outward when we dorsiflex. Now the opposite happens when we plantar flex. So for example, if I come up into a demi point, my talus rotates and now it goes forward. So it's like the bird coming out of the cuckoo clock here in the front of my ankle. And the calcaneus does the opposite swing. So it does an inversion and it swings in a little bit. Now throughout these motions, right, um, if I have something that I'm reaching into like the floor or the towel, the balls of my feet from the first to my fifth metatarsal stay planted. So in dorsiflexion, I have the same place with the balls of my feet as my heel goes down, my talus sinks in, and the heel does a little bit of a swing out. I keep that same placement on the balls of my feet as I rise up, so I'm not losing the ball of my big toe or my fifth toe as my calcaneus swings in, right? And Ultimately, what I'm working here is not only the swing of the calcaneus, but also the rotation and glide of my talus and the, the pulling apart of the balls of my feet, those metatarsal heads and the connective tissue around the tops of my metatarsals. So let's try it. So when I'm in the towel, my challenge is to try to remember all of that, first go around, and then if I want to detail it a little bit more, which I will be cueing, but you don't want to give all of this to yourself or if you use this with a client, don't give it all to the client at once. But you also want to be um, cueing the alignment of the leg also as they go through dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. All right, so I'm going to get onto my back here and get my towel and I'm placing my foot my whole foot, it's like I'm making a footprint up into the towel. So I'm feeling the center of my heels, I'm feeling the balls of my feet, and I'm making sure that I stay into the floor of the towel with the balls of my, my feet. And it's going to be very tempting to lose that first and second ray, um, and especially that, that slip of skin between my first and second metatarsal. All right, so I'm dorsiflexing at this point. I'm thinking of a little bit of a heel swing out, calcaneus out. I'm thinking of reaching my first ray up into the towel. And then I can also cue myself here with my knee. So I can see where my kneecap is in space and if it's not centered. And so I can give myself that little bit of a subtle cue of internal or external rotation, whatever I need for my kneecap probably going to be external rotation for most of us so that the knee is center but I don't lose my first ray and I don't lose that little swing outward of my heel and then trying to keep my leg in the same alignment I move through my ankle I'm going to plantar flex my heel swings in but I don't lose my first to my fifth metatarsal, especially that first ray area. 
Good, and then I check out my kneecap and I might have to do a little subtle cueing of my femur head. For me, my knee wants to go in, so without losing my first ray, I have to talk to my femur head about externally rotating. So really subtly, I'm thinking about shining my upper inner thigh back to my face, but then I have to also negotiate that with my foot and my heel. And the towel is, is really such a good tactile cure. It's great. For me, much better than the TheraBand. And then I'll go back into dorsiflexion. I'm thinking about the bird going deep into the cuckoo clock, my heel bone swinging out. And at this point, a lot of people are going to supinate. And so they're going to lose their first ray out of the towel. So I really want to cue myself to keep reaching, even as I dorsiflex, even as I reach my heel up into the towel, I want to keep reaching that first ray up into the towel. And then I check out my knee. Of course, my knee is falling in. So I have to cue myself not to lose my first ray or the reach of my heel as I gently and subtly guide my inner thigh back towards my face. And then I might notice, ooh, I'm putting a little bit more, too much tension around my tailbone and my sitting bone. So I talk to those places, let my sitting bones bloom, let my tail drop. Good. All right, so you guys get the idea. And I'm telling you, my ankle and my shin are burning. Like that was so much work for my foot and ankle. Really, really good work. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to hearing from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site.